hello everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are doing well so stay at home moms are crying out they are tired of being stuck with the kids all day long and doing the same thing over and over again in this video so many stay at home moms have come out to give reason why they hate being stay at home moms and i'll let you guys watch the video and i'll come back to give my final thoughts at the end of this video let me know what you guys think and let's see what people are saying about being a stay-at-home mom and just because she's a stay-at-home mom that doesn't mean she's not working people would say my wife doesn't work she works harder than i do she's at home taking care of the kids she works her ass off all day yeah I'm tired of people acting like being a stay-at-home mom is just a privilege and not also a sacrifice. You have to pay housekeepers, janitors, nannies, caregivers, teachers, nurses, all that. And I'm all that in a day, baby. I'm a 25 8 on the clock domestic engineer. Act like it. And I can't speak for every mom, but don't get me started on me having my own dreams and goals. Let me preface this by saying being a mother is my greatest accomplishment. Or did I have to rearrange some of my plans to do so? Hell yeah. And being a parent is a sacrifice, period, but being a stay-at-home mother is an all-day sacrifice, okay? All I'm saying is put some respect on our names immediately because everybody ain't able and everybody ain't able to do it well, period. I'm here to tell you why being a stay-at-home mother is more difficult than working a job. I'm not sitting here trying to justify why being a stay-at-home mother is a job. We already know it is. If I didn't do it, I'd be paying someone to do it. And I don't even want to see comments of people being like, oh, you literally sit home and spend your husband's money and you watch after kids and you babysit and you do dishes. Like, shut up. This is why it's more mentally exhausting, okay? And first of all, I've worked a job before. I've been on salary, I managed over 50 adults, it felt like glorified babysitting. At the end of the day, it was not more mentally exhausting. I've pulled 14 hour days. I quit my job because that plus being a mother was way too much. Because motherhood is harder when you didn't sleep good last night, when you're hungover, whatever it is, you can show up to work and give your give bare minimum. You don't have to mentally fully be there. When I was hungover, when I had a bad night's sleep with my baby or whatever, I could show up to work and just do bare minimum, my checklist. I could go through emails, I could fire that one person, I could do this, I could do that, and then I could go home. I always looked forward to my 30 minute lunch to myself. It was quiet. I could eat my food by myself. I could shit. I could pee by myself. But that's where motherhood is not anything similar, okay? One minute of you not giving your child your full attention or just one simple lapse of judgment can cost you your kid's life. I know that sounds dramatic, but just hear me out for a second. These freak accidents happen all the time. Your house is fully baby proofed, but your kids somehow find something to choke on. Next thing you know, you're in the ER. Um, God forbid I've heard people get their kids taken away over these freak accidents because it was a reflection of how the mother was living. The hardest part of motherhood thus far was when my second was learning how to walk. She walked at nine months, but between seven and nine months, she was pulling herself up on things and every single time she would start walking, she would either start walking or she would slip and hit her head. I can't tell you how exhausting that was because if I wasn't watching her all the time, she would hit her head and start screaming at the top of her lungs. And the only things that are going through my head is like, she's gonna have a seizure, she's gonna have brain damage, She's gonna hit her head bad. She's gonna need stitches. She's gonna break her head open I had to shower in the mornings by strapping her into the high chair putting her in the bathroom and shower because she never napped at the same time as my other kid And it's the only way that I could take care of myself I can't show up and give less than hundred percent to my kids. I can't I can maybe forget the dishes let the laundry build up But when it comes to my kid, I can't shit alone. I can't eat alone I mean of course in baby toddler stages like things have gotten tremendously better now that they're older and a little more independent but in that fresh stage where they're newborns, where they can roll off of beds, like that is always a lapse of judgment. Every time I've heard that a baby rolled off a bed, it was simply because the mother didn't think the baby was capable of rolling over because they had shown no signs and no interest of rolling over, but somehow they did. Don't tell me that working a job is harder than keeping this tiny, tiny thing alive that needs all of the help and all of the attention and you can't blink for one second. I hated being a stay-at-home mom. I was a working mom and I got stuck being a stay-at-home mom and I freaking hated it. Like I'm talking, crying on the couch to my husband, begging for him to let me go back to work. Now, because I was in education, it was the middle of a school year and I was a school leader, there was just no way that I was going to be able to find a position that worked for me and my family after we moved across the country. So I had no other choice but to change my attitude and put some things in place to help me enjoy it. And now I'm sharing them with you because I know that I'm not the only one. I'd open up TikTok and I would see all these wonderful, beautiful stay-at-home mothers who just felt so fulfilled and like they were filling their role in their life and they felt so genuinely happy. 
not only was I jealous, but I was also like, wait, what's wrong with me? I had the worst guilt. Like I love my children. Am I a bad person? Am I a bad mom? It is a blessing to stay home with your children, but it is also a huge sacrifice and it's not every woman's dream. Tip number one that I share, if you click on Summer's comment, it'll take you over there, was about getting ready every single day. And sometimes that looks like this. Tip number two is to leave your house every single day. I don't care if you're running to the grocery store and you're doing small trips each week, you're going to a playground, a splash pad, you're mall walking, just a people walk. You're going to music time at the library. You're just walking the library. It does not matter. You have to leave your home every single day. People will always say to me, well, how do you leave the house without going broke? You don't need a little Starbies every time you leave the house. You don't need to go shopping and buy frivolous things. You just need to get out of the house and walk and talk to people. And I know it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. And your kids will be better for it going out into society and learning how to act and socialize with the people around them. Part three, we're gonna talk about making mom friends. About two weeks ago, I had a breakdown as a mom because I felt that I had a stay at home mom day and the last thing I want to be is a stay at home mom. Now hear me out before you start, you know, talking crap to me. If you are a stay at home mom and you enjoy it and that is like the love of your life, your passion and you just adore that life for you, I am so happy for you. That's not who I want to be. I have, I am an influencer, a content creator, and that's my full-time job. I work from home and I also own a brand. I have three children and I've always been independent financially and just in general, I'm like a go-getter. So I adore being a mom. My children are my entire life, but having my life, my entire life be just about them is too much for me. I adore my kids, but I need date night, girl night, like girl time. I'm a daughter. I am a friend. Like I need that extension of my life in order to thrive and be the best mother that I can be. I take my hat off to you stay at home moms that literally surround your entire life around your children's activities. Those moms that have kids and like one, two, three kids in multiple activities, like Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you're like running around after school. That can't be me. My kids have their activities. I even had to tell my daughter, you cannot join something because it's too much for me. Like you have enough shit that you do and it's too much for me. And you know, she was very receptive to the idea. She understood she's eight years old. And I told her very honestly, like, it's too much for me. I, I can't do it. I would love for you to do everything. I can't do it. So I'm just here to say that it's okay to have boundaries with your own children. And it's okay to be a selfish mom and just do whatever the heck you want to do for your own mental well-being and your own health. These kids are going to be all right. Throw that freaking mom guilt out the freaking window and tell them kids now. Okay. But yes, I had a mental breakdown because I had one particular day where I felt like a 100% full on stay at home mom. I don't want that life. You girlies that love it can keep it. My wife, I don't want her working. Babe, do you really want to work? What do you want out of life? She says, I just want to be a housewife. Mm. And I'm well in so many words, and I'm like, good, because that's what I like. Someone has to raise the kids. Exactly. Someone has to be home to freaking handle business. That's dude. a whole different responsibility. It's a man. huge responsibility, yeah. and it's a lot of work. And I think most people underestimate and underappreciate their housewife. And it sounds like, oh, it's she's just a housewife, mm -mm. just a housewife. Mm -mm. Like, dude, a housewife nine times out of ten is the one running shit oh yeah they're just smart enough to keep it quiet and let the man out there making all the dough think yep. he's running shit i love staying home with my baby but i hate being a stay-at-home mom let me explain i've been a stay-at-home mom for almost a year now since my baby was born i've been home with him i love that i haven't missed a single thing i love that i've been there for all of his big moments and even the little ones just seeing the day-to-day -day changes it's incredible i love spending time with him i feel like it's given us a really special relationship but i am realizing that i do not like being a stay-at-home mom i went to vanderbilt i've been a medical student and i I still consider this the most exhausting thing I've ever done because you just never get a break like there is no moment that you just get to like take five minutes to yourself every minute of every day I'm thinking about like the well-being and survival of my child it's just exhausting it's just it's a never-ending to-do list in addition to working all the time you're just like really freaking lonely like the isolation that you experience as a stay-at-home mom is just like unreal and really it's just like it's not fun I think people on social media tend to portray it as really fun um and they neglect to mention that for being a stay-at-home mom to be like a fun time 
you generally have to have like a decently big like extra spending budget because realistically i shouldn't be running to target every day i shouldn't be going to starbucks every day like i shouldn't be like spending money on things every single day budget doesn't allow for like shopping trips literally five times a week i would guess that most people's budgets don't allow for that yes there are free things to do but honestly you can only go so many times before they're not that fun anymore as we're getting into the fall and winter season that list of free things to do is like dwindling because i'm not going to the park in december i was pretty confident going into this that being a permanent full-time stay-at-home mom was just not going to be for me but i I wanted to give it a trial period to see how it went and i can say pretty definitively that i was right and this is just like not what i want to do full time i am so happy for the people that get so much fulfillment out of this job but i am gonna lose my mind if i do this forever it's not glamorous i'm really lonely i'm very burnt out as much as i love being home with my baby the forever stay-at-home mom position is just not for me I went from being a working mom to a stay-at-home mom about a year ago, and for the first six to nine months, I absolutely hated it. For context, I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old. At the time, they were six months and three and a half. I have a lot of guilt about it. You don't need to make me feel guilty, and I'm not here to tell you that being a working mom is harder than being a stay-at-home mom or vice versa. We ain't gonna have that battle because it's all hard. But here's what I will tell you. If you are not treating being a stay-at-home parent like a job, you may find that you fall into the cycle that I was in, the roller coaster of emotions, anxious, depressed, alone. And in full transparency, I felt very unfulfilled. I felt like I had lost my life's purpose, which is crazy, right? Because your children are supposed to be your purpose. So why was I feeling that way? When I started treating it like a job, and I'm going to go through a whole series on the things that I did, it got so much better to the point where I'm not going back to work in the fall as we originally planned. Tip number one, I talk about this all the time, get ready every single day. And the way you get ready is going to be different than the way I get ready. I do light makeup. I put a little outfit on. I also get the kids ready every day. I'm just ready to leave the house, which we'll talk about next in part two. I tried being a stay-at-home mom for eight weeks. I like the stay-at-home part. too crazy about the mom aspect that shit is relentless <laughs> i was stupid and naive and i thought that being a stay-at-home mom was about chillaxing getting to shit in your own home <laughs> watch wendy williams and go out to brunch with your sassy girlfriends <laughs> i did not understand that the whole price you have to pay for staying at home is that you gotta be a mom. Oh, and that's a job. It's a whack-ass job. You get no 401k, no co-workers, you're just in solitary confinement all day long with this human Tamagotchi that don't got no reset button so the stakes are extremely high. Wow, you guys, that was quite interesting. And what are your thoughts? Are you a stay-at-home mom? Do you love your job or you absolutely hate it? Let's get the conversation going in the comment section. Let's hear your stay-at-home stories and all of your experience being a stay-at-home mom. Are you currently enjoying the job of being a stay-at-home mom? And if your kids are grown, did you enjoy the experience? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.